probably, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, you sort of live by the sword and die by the sword, don't you? So if you, if that's how you defend certain players, and it doesn't come off, then you've got to give the, the opposition a pat on the back and say, well done, you've executed it well enough to, to score. But no, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. The second half it was, it was outstanding. It definitely uh, a game of two halves. It definitely was. Uh, we, we started with lots of vigour and want and will. And then after 10 minutes or 12 minutes, we just dropped away and we did our best to lose the game. We couldn't complete the set. I think we, we got down to good ball about three or four times and we completed a set once and Louis McCarthy scored. There's a bit of a moral in that tale for the team, but we had a good chat at half time and, and they came out and they came out fighting. You know, they was very spirited and you know the resilience to to defend the game is you just can't fault it. That's two weeks in a row we've we've backed back our defence and to to sort of seal the victory for us and, and we've come up we've come up trumps and I keep saying to the players, you, you can't fabricate stuff like that. You can't fabricate togetherness, you can't make it up. And it's something that, that happens over a period of time and, and you can't give them will and want. You know, that's, that's what they've got to have themselves and, and the fight to defend their own line. You know, it's, it was stellar. It was, it, you know, they should be proud of what they did. Uh, you like your so-called history. Uh, uh, so, so what was the well, I've heard Tommy was a very good player. I've never seen him live. I'm sure Ray will tell me how, if it was Volanova esque. Was it Ray? What was that? Mick Sullivan, Ray, if they know what I said. Mick Sullivan esque. Yeah. He's a good player, too. Yeah. Mick Sullivan was. No, it was, it was good. And it's good to get your monkey off the back, you know? Everybody keeps telling us about history and what we can and can't do. We threw a few of them in the fire this year, so there's another one. You said you had a, a, a chat at half time about things. Was it, was it a bit more than a chat? Did it, did it involve any random rave? No, I'm, I'm not that aggressive in the dressing room anyway. I don't, I don't feel like, I mean, don't get me wrong, they, if they deserve it, they'll get it, but I don't think they deserved it. It, was, it wasn't an effort thing, you know, it wasn't, they were just doing the wrong, wrong things, and there was a couple of senior boys who just wasn't quite on the money. But they pulled themselves back into line in the second half, and we knew if we completed our sets and kicked them away, we knew we'd get plenty of opportunities to win the game. Uh, Warrington are a great side and they found some real good form and you know we, we defended our line resiliently at the end. I mean we give some silly penalties away and you know when Louis gave the one at the end away I thought oh my god I thought he was just sealed in the stars to lose the game you know and then Saints <laughs> instead of just closing the game out they got about 30 seconds 40 seconds to go we're trying to play around them and I'm like well you know the game's history now and we got the two points and hopefully we'll learn a lot from that first half. Why did James Harvey come off after about eight, nine minutes and then he came back later? He got a bit of a, he got, he got caught in a bad spot, so he hurt his neck a little bit on the, on the hip of, on the, oh, I'm not sure who it was. So he came off, he said he felt a little bit dazed, and he came off, he did his concussion examination and just made sure everything was right, and he was fine. He passed all his tests, so he was, he was more than happy to go back on the field. Thanks, more questions? Yeah, I did. Good. Thank I want to read interviews in the uh, yeah. from this door. Okay, yeah. cheers boys.